Hey y'all. So this is a review for DD.4. And this is just going to be a review of everything that we've done so far in this series. So uh, semicolons, colons, and commas. Um, I just, what I'd like to do is just go ahead and get one wrong. Um, and then I can come down here and review the rules and take pictures of them maybe to refer to later. If you want to take a screenshot of something, you can do it by holding control shift and pushing the button that's right above the number six on your Chromebook. Um, so basically, uh, you know, you guys are pretty familiar with uh, commas by this point, I would say. So we're going to focus most, mostly on semicolon and colon. So uh, semicolons are used, uh, I like to think about them in terms of like being a bodybuilder. So semicolons are strong enough to hold two sentences together on their own, but a comma isn't. Um, and when you use a comma to try to hold together two sentences all by itself, that's called a comma splice. And uh, so you got to have a comma and a conjunction to hold two sentences together. It's just how it works. Okay, because they, they're weak, so they need some help. Um, colons are used uh, to join together two closely related sentences where the second sentence explains, defines, or illustrates the meaning of the first. Okay, so that's going to be really important later. Explains, defines, or illustrates the meaning of the first sentence. Okay. Um, both semicolons and commas may be used to separate three or more items in a series, but we use semicolons whenever there is a reason why using a comma would make it be more complicated. So like if we have a situation like this example here, where we have some extra information that's separated off by commas, we want to make that different by having the semicolons there. Okay. Colons are used to introduce lists. Colons are used to introduce quotations. Um, so, and then, you know, you guys are pretty, pretty good with the comma rules usually, at least when I read your writing, but they're down here if you'd like to review them. All right, so let's do a couple examples together and see, see how we do here. Okay, so consider the colon in bold, which is used to connect two sentences. If it's not the best choice, replace it with a different punctuation mark. Okay, so this is the colon. They say it's in bold, but man, it's really hard to see. All right, so let's look at our sentence here. According to lexicographer Jesse Scheidlauer, the word pad was originally used by criminals in the traveling poor to refer to a bed composed of rags or straw. This usage dates back to 17th century Britain. Okay, so remember back to our colon rules. Does this define, illustrate, um, or reveal something about the prior sentence? I think at best it's a gray area, but I'm gonna say it does. So we're gonna, oh, nope. Okay, so let's see why we got it wrong here. So I thought it was gonna be the semicolon, but I didn't go with my gut. So that's a lesson for you guys. All right, let's let's get a couple more here, see if we can get on a roll. Okay, at the Stephen A. Schwarzman building of the New York Public Library, visitors will find Maya Angelou's archive. The stuffed bear that belonged to Okay, so we have a list here, right? So this is at this building in the New York Public Library. Visitors will find Maya Angelou's archive. So that's item number one. The stuffed bear that belonged to A.A. A. Milne's son, Christopher Robin Milne, and inspired Winnie the Pooh stories. That's item number two. And the two original copies of Shakespeare's comedies, histories, and tragedies. That's item number three. So um, the ones that are in bold here, should be semicolons, okay? And the reason why is that these items in this list have commas in them. So when we just use a comma, then it makes it confusing. So we're gonna use semicolons to separate those things. 
Okay. So comma in bold, which is used to introduce a quotation. So, um, you know, earlier when we were in the video, so we were talking about the ways that you would use a colon. And one of those ways was to introduce a quotation. And uh, when asked about the threats and jeers, he received as the first black player in major leagues. Jackie Robinson made the following insightful remark. So anytime you see something like the following, that's usually a pretty good clue that you're going to use a colon there. And in this case, that's what we're going to use. Okay. So semicolon in bold used to introduce a quotation. So we know that we use colons to introduce quotations. So we're going to use a colon to introduce a quotation because that's in the rules. Okay, so we got commas used to separate the items in a list. Okay, do, do, do. Okay, so we got another one of these where we have list items that have commas in them. Okay, so we need to separate those with semicolons to make them more clear. Okay. All right. Let's do one more here. Semicolons separate items in a list. So let's see here. Some 100 years later, many of the artifacts left in the hut, furniture, newspapers, and a, a stuffed penguin, cans of food, and scientific equipment. Okay. So this is where we would use commas to separate our list because our list items don't have commas in them. So it would be, it wouldn't be confusing to use commas. So we will use commas, right? We only use semicolons when it's confusing to use commas. All right, bonus round, one more. Kingwood's new mayor has promised to increase access to low-income housing. So again, we have these list items, but there are no commas in the list items. So we're going to use commas. So the first one goes after housing. Second one goes after shortage. All right. So that, that gets you guys part of the way there. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Love to help you.